Eat it, bitch. All right. Eat it, bitch. flash the urban dictionary of that for like half a second. <laughs> Take him to the police. Oh boy, what do we got today, Sean? Well, um, we're no stranger to this delicious beer. This is Three Floyds Brewing's Laser Snake. If you know this about Sean and Corey, then you're closer to us than others. We absolutely adore this beer. Three Floyds, one of the best breweries in America. If you don't agree, see yourself out, dude. Very excited though, beautiful can, beautiful brewery, delicious taste on my tongue region, and I'm a fan of it. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Uh, you probably came here today because we're eating something you can find at your local grocer. And Corey, what is that thing? Today we've got a brand that I don't think I've ever had before. It's Freshetta. Kitchen Fresh Pizza. This is their thin crust premium pepperoni. They also have like a rising crust of the pepperoni we wanted to go thin today and see what that was all about. Um, so yeah, we're about to figure that out ASAP. I think I've stayed away from this brand in my life because it seems healthy. Yeah, I hear, I hear fresh cheddar and I think fresh and then I think vegan <laughs> and then I think gross. Yeah, that's some of that nice people stuff. You know, in Redford, we eat Red Baron, okay? Two slices of this pizza pie, 360 calories. Wow. So it is, you know, it's so thin, it's less calories than most frozen pizzas. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go, I'm excited. It's got the cornmeal crust on the bottom, which Corey pointed out looks very fun. Fresh cheddar, cheers. cheers. Mm. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. That is very good. My voice gets high like that. You yeah! Know, you know I like it. I sound like Jill Chuglio. Yeah. Hey, look what we got! What? That guy's cool. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, push it out. That's the thing I got! That's the thing I got! Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, dude. Pepperoni's good. Sauce is good, I think. I don't know. There's yeah, like herbs or something. There's not a lot of sauce, which I'm kind of fine mm -hmm. with. I don't really mind that in a frozen pizza. Mm hmm. Ooh, you know what? The texture is really good. Yep. It has its little uh, valleys and canyons. I'm all about this. Really mad at myself for just skipping by this so many years. Yeah, even good crust. Mm hmm. What do you think, Dave Portnoy? Not bad. That's one of my favorite frozen pizzas I think I've had. I didn't want to say it, but like it's it's oddly like very good. This is very good. I'm quite pleased. Wow. I think these guys should comment. Is there a frozen pizza that you stayed away from just based on looks alone? You see it in the frozen food aisle and you've just never gotten it. What pizza is that for you? For me, it's this freshetta pizza that you're watching today. Yep, the whole don't judge a book by its cover, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, which you learn when you're a kid, and you of course still do for most of your life. Yeah, it's how humans work, or pattern recognizers. Yeah. We love I almost didn't become friends with you just because the way you look and act and dress and That's your personality. You reached out to me, you said you're brilliant, <laughs> one of the funniest people I've ever seen, and the sketch show, they don't, you had five other really bad performances in it. <laughs> I put some sixer sauce on this one. I'm gonna do that too. I gotta imagine that really amps it up, huh? Amps it up, ramps it up. Yeah, I guess that does work. Amplifies it. Usually you need citrus sauce to make things, the pizzas better. Uh huh. This just accents it. Yeah, I'm very excited to do that. So I'm kind of doing like a little art project over here because I don't have many hobbies. Mmm. Yeah, the flavor is amazing. The flavor's great. It doesn't taste overly frozen. Like so many pizzas, like the same cookie cutter thing, like rinse and repeat. It has a little bit of a personality to it. And then the texture, man, I'm telling you, like, the crust and the cornmeal and, like, I don't know, there's just more to it. I'm starting to think frozen pizzas need to go thin crust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Less chance of uh, mistakes. I don't like the rising crust thing. No. It's like a thick burger. Yeah. Like it, it's like, I think we've gone away from that being, like, a thing. Yeah. It was a thing. That was a trend. People thought it was cool, I guess. Whoa, it rises. Like, wow. I guess. Okay. Mm-hmm. How does it taste? Are you stoned, like sitting next to your oven? Wow, oh my yeah. God, getting bigger. Speaking of not having hobbies. Mmm. Yeah, that's delicious. I did not see this episode going this way. No, me neither. I thought it would be your average run of the mill, mm -hmm. okay frozen pizza. Turns out it's delicious. And all these people saying like, you don't have to have a ton of calories to enjoy your food. Like these people are proving it. Yeah, it's true. It's 360 now, I, not for two slices. And I'm like, two that's slices. Like, it's not like they're like, I mean, it's still got some weight to it. It's not like, some of the frozen pizzas that are thin crust, it's like a cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still got some girth to it, and uh, I'm satiated. Hey, bro, boss word. Thanks, bro. Satiated, dude? 
Been reading the thesaurus? I got one of those uh, word of the day calendars. I love it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, well, great beer, great pizza. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and either endorse or publicly denounce this pizza at the end of this video. Before we do, hit the like button on this video. Hi, we're Sean and Corey. We make videos five days a week. It really helps if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell us the frozen pizza that you normally skip over. Before we rate it though, let's do a shout out. PayPal, PayPal shout out, PayPal shout out, PayPal shout out. Number six for cheese, we have a PayPal. If you wanna to donate to the show, you can do so. There's a link below the video. There's one in our banner on, on YouTube. Click it, donate. A lot of people are like, hey, I don't wanna to commit to a monthly subscription. I got a lot of subscriptions. I don't need another one, but I love your show. How do I just like, throw money at you because you guys make this show every single weekday for years. I don't know how you do it and how you're still alive. If you want to support us and the medical bills that will soon follow, you can do so below. 40 bucks, that's a good number. 80, it's a really good number. Some people do 200. Yeah, I'd say like 10 to 15,000 would be a That'd great be a really number. Nice. I guarantee you, I bet you guys won't donate $10,000. PayPal shout out number one goes to Mr. Paul Havlicka. Paul, oh, G move going a hundred dollars. I don't even know what that's like. That's amazing. That's massive. We really appreciate it. And he didn't even like. He was just like, love the show. Yeah. He doesn't like. He didn't ask for anything. No. Nope. He did make a joke on community on our te text message. Oh, did he? He said, uh, go get that car washed. Oh, like as like a fun thing of like we eat that baby. We, Which is funny. we, we did. We did. We Literally, did. he sent the money. Corey was going home to Toledo, and we like to make the car look good when actually real people have to be in yeah, the Yeah. Stuff. And we got a detail, we go to this awesome place, so that helped. That's right, it sure did. So, Paul, thank you. Your money went, was well spent. Yeah, dude, and it smells like dandelions in there now. But is that a flower that people smell? I think so. Is that weeds? <laughs> it's a weed people smell. PayPal shout out number two, another amazing human, Andrew Brun. $25, just zip that on over to us. Our bank account went, go, oh, thanks, dude. And all of a sudden now we have 25 more dollars and Andrew's getting a shout out, he deserves it. Paul and Andrew, you guys are American heroes and if you're not from America, you're your country's actual hero. Like, there should be like a key given to you where you can get into people's doors and steal stuff. Just look, just give me the key. Just give me another chance. Don't ask me. All right, well, that was fun. Let's go ahead and rate this pizza now with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and let them know if they should buy it or not. Uh, Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. All right, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you like to enjoy, but the most important thing is, should they buy this? Should you go to the store and try this frozen pizza? Should you throw this in your, your, your freezer for when you're hungry or drunk? Or both? Are you ready? Yes. Ho! Oh! That was amazing. I'm that sure. was definitely, I think that was one of the most delicious pizzas I've had. Top to bottom, that was really great. Everything about it, I like. The density of the crust, I like the way it tasted, I like the cornmeal, I like the sauce, I like the cheese, I like the ingredients. Everything about it was great. Big thumbs up for that one. I'd definitely try it if I saw it. Well, you didn't leave me anything to say, because you said it all. Yes. Damn it. I guess the only thing I could say is, maybe change your name. Huh? For Shetta. I don't think that works. Yeah, change your name for Shetta. Marshall, Minnesota. It'll work more for like people like us, like middle, uh, middle America, if you call it like Fat Boy Pizza or yeah, something honestly, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or, that's true. Or the killer ingredients, and then you have a uh, uh, pepperoni like log with a knife. Yeah, stabbing a sl uh, the, the holes in a Swiss cheese. <laughs> then guess what? I'm buying it. There's know? just a graveyard of empty Mountain Dew bottles. Yeah, yeah, instead of just like that looks like something like white women buy. No offense, white women. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Is it cute? Yeah, it's so cute. Send it to me. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, okay. Uh, guys, let us know if you've had that. Uh, once again, please comment the pizzas that you skip over. I think that's a fun comment because I think there are things that I look at and I go move along. We'll see you Monday for a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Very excited that there's some leftovers of this. I'm going to eat that uh, very shortly. <laughs> sure. I'll have a drink. Gulping down some pig dicks with these bags of meat. Sunday fun day with these pig dicks. Hope nobody gulps us. So are we the pig dicks or the bags of meat?